Hey guys, Jason with CV Customs, and we're back on the high boy. Now, if you've been following the high boy, you know that we didn't finish the power steering. We're actually, that video will be flying out tomorrow. Been trying to get a bunch of stuff done, but uh, that's coming. What we're looking at today, because the owner, Sammy, you guys know he's a good friend of mine. We're kind of helping him out on this build. Is very anxious to see his new, uh, you want to call it product, new add-on to the truck, whatever it is. He got some 35 inch wheels and tires because his brother-in-law has a tire shop, a San Joaquin wheel and tire. Really good dude, does a great job. But, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Was it San Joaquin wheel and tire? I think so. Yeah, San Joaquin wheel and tire. We're gonna go with that. If it's different, link in the description. We'll still have it ready for you guys. But uh, we had uh, some tires dropped off. So what we're gonna do is we've got a stock high boy and we're gonna see how 35 inch tires fit on the truck. And then we already got the forklift ready. We're gonna check the articulation. Now, right before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys some quick other things that have been done to the truck since you saw last, because I haven't really been focusing on the interior and Sam's father-in-law has been doing some interior work. So let's take a look at how the interior looks and then we'll get the tires on. Yeah. Aside from everything, yeah. So I got my happy helper, Nate, over here. Thanks. Looks like he's drinking a beer. So you can see there's a lot of parts in here, but check this out. The seat's all been done. The carpet's all been done. It's got the carpet looking nice all through. Now there's a little bit of cleanup left to do. And then also we have not put the fuel tank back in because I'm doing all that when we do the fuel injection system. But I mean, look at that. The quality of work that was done on that just insane so pretty happy about that so the interior is coming along we actually do have a new radio for Sam and he's gonna have a backup camera and all that stuff because just little things that he wants he's not used to the old these old trucks so we're trying to make the old truck as new as we can let's get to the tires all right guys this is how we get two tires done really quickly without a lift <laughs> Okay, why, while Happy Helper Nate gets the tire off, these are the wheels we're putting on. And that's loud. Um, you can see there's some Allen screws we're going to have to take off to actually lock it down. So we'll get on that, get that off, and get the first wheel on. Alright guys, before we throw the wheel on, which everything looks proper here, um, there's only two screws to hold this cap on but there's a lot of screws and I don't see anything that tells me which one are the right ones to take out. So that's important to know. Now, another thing that's important, Sam has locking hubs on the front. This truck will need this cap removed. You just pull that spring and the center cap will come out. So the fuel sign will be gone for the front wheels. Now you see the four bolts with the nuts. We can actually remove that spacer if you have a tighter axle setup. Now this is a full floating rear end, so we're gonna leave it alone. But if you look at it, you can remove that, uh, it's about an inch spacer, and it'll be a tighter fit. So if you guys are messing with these wheels, something to know. We're gonna throw this dude on. Okay, didn't want anybody to think that we weren't torquing everything down. Got the happy helper torquing down. And then we'll put those plastic caps on. And we're actually gonna lift the front front end back up. I'm gonna show you the next thing we're gonna check because again, this is a stock height uh, high boy and we wanna see if these 35s are gonna clear. And because we still don't have the steering box back on, it makes it really easy for us to check our turning and if things are gonna rub on the leaf springs and stuff. So we're gonna do that next. Um, as soon as everything's torqued, we'll lift it back up. All right, so we got the wheels on. And we're off the ground on the front end. That's what we're using the forklift for. And the reason is, is we're going to check the turning. But I thought I'd show you how these wheels look with the locking hub. I think it actually looks pretty clean. Um, a comparison. So that's what your front will look like with the uh, locking hubs. And then this is what the wheel looks like with no locking hubs. So if you got one of those 
Dodges with no locking hubs, you don't have to worry about it and it'll look real clean. But this is a Ford. So, okay, so what we're gonna do, again, we're not gonna get under the truck so we can get hurt, but we're gonna look at the turning. And remember, there's no steering hooked up, so we can seriously just move it by hand. So, there we go. That's clocked all the way over. Clearance looks pretty good to me. Doesn't look like it's gonna hurt anything. Nate, you wanna turn it the other way for me? Sure. Or happy helper? <laughs> Pump doesn't sound help. Oh, that's so. fine. The pump's fine. Yeah. So how's it look on the back Plenty side? Clearance over there. So, yeah, with our back side, we got tons of clearance. Shock still looks good. Okay, straighten it out. So, what you guys have all been waiting for, we're going to check the articulation now. We're going to lift up this front wheel, and we're going to lift up this wheel until that wheel starts to come off the ground, and that's when we'll know how much articulation we have. And then we'll get a tape on it and see what this truck does. Again, it's a factory high boy with 35. So let's see how it looks. All right, we're live. So we're at two foot, and that's right at the point where the rear tire on the same side starts to lift. And then you can look at uh, the clearance here. It actually looks pretty good, and we saw how it turns. I don't think he's going to rub at all. I think I think he's going to get around pretty good. So, hey, you know what we should do? Look over here. Let's see what the Jeep does for articulation. Yeah, a comparison video. We can do that. Yeah, let's do the Jeep. The Jeep's at about three feet. Now, look guys, I understand that's not fair. This is a Jeep, heavily modified, and that's stock. But they were both a lot of fun stuff. So, three feet, two feet. Okay guys, back to the focus of the video. The truck looks like a different truck. If we get down, like, it's a great look. The uh, the wheels are definitely now worth more than what Sam paid for the truck. And I know Sam's watching, so I'm sure he's laughing. But uh, this truck, once it's all finished, and we do have the new inserts. That's nothing to worry about. That's all going to be there, but... Uh, this truck looks tough. I like it. All right, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, totally appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate your interest in the truck. We've got some other builds. If you're, if you're interested in this type of stuff, then, you know, take a look at some of the other videos. Um, we've got a 67 Camaro over there, 58 Edsel over there. I mean, you saw the Jeep. We're doing uh, some off-road stuff as well. 67 Mustang there, but everybody knows if you're a regular, I do internationals, 
old international trucks. I actually, it's kind of a sneak peek into a video that I'm going to do next weekend. I found a KB, I think it's a 44, might be a 44 to 44, 44 to 46, but it's like a, a bread wagon. And I don't know if it's a KB1 or if it's a KB18. I have no clue. I saw it from the side of the road. I happen to know that the guy who owned the house was a, one of my best friend's godfathers. So I, I made a phone call and, and kind of put it together. And next weekend, I get to go look at it and he is willing to get rid of it. So I'm super excited about that. If you're into internationals, if you're into the obscure trucks, that's the stuff I do. So appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.